Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to talk to you about properties and explain why we need to use them in Java FX. And instead of just giving you guys a bunch of definitions, what I want to do is I actually want to show you guys an example and it will demonstrate exactly why we need to use properties. So I'm going to make a new class and I'll say that, I don't know, maybe I have a website or some database and I have a whole bunch of users so I'm gonna store all of their information inside a person class so what is one of the properties of a person well uh, let's say they have a first name obviously so first name it's a string and we'll just set it equal to blank and if we hit alt insert we can throw in all of our getters and setters so basically whenever I create an object of type person for example Bucky I can get his first name which would be Bucky and I could also set his first name to whatever I wanted so in other words I can have something like this I can create an object called Bucky and it can be a new person and then I can just you know make him do a whole bunch of stuff like set his name there you go so Bucky can set his name he can get his name I can make another function in here called like uh, punch babies and just pretty much think of it like that an object can do things alright simple enough this is like Java 101 so why am I explaining this well say that I wanted to create a program that was gonna sit and wait and see whenever the value of this property changed then run a little bit of code so maybe as they're typing something in real time you want to update the screen alright well let me just hop back in here and uh, alright we got a little issue because here's the thing I know that Bucky can do stuff for example Bucky can get his name set his name punch a baby eat some hot dogs but uh what you're trying to ask me to do is have first name do something so you pretty much want to stick a listener on first name but I mean this is not really an object it's like part of a bigger object so we just can't call like first name dot whatever we want to do because we aren't really viewing this as an object I mean I know first name is of type string and we do have limited options of what we can do with a string but we can't do cool stuff like stick a listener directly on first name so you know how I told you guys that Bucky was an object but string or this first name JavaFX doesn't really view it as one well I lied I apologize but uh, I had to do it so let me clean this up and I'll explain something really cool so whenever we're using JavaFX what we can do is we can actually treat these properties as an object now one of the main reasons that people like to do this is because once you do that you can add a listener on that first name for example and another cool thing and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in probably the next tutorial you can actually have two properties maybe a first name and a last name and you can bind them together in other words you can attach them and then when you change the value of the first name the last name automatically cha changes without any additional code needed it sounds kinda crazy but I'm gonna show you guys an example like I said later on don't wanna overwhelm you guys so let's figure out how to actually treat these values as properties well if you just make a new private variable and you use string property as you see it imports this package right here but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create it in a similar kind of way so first name and set this equal to new simple string property now string property of course is just what I was talking about it's not a regular string it's a property in other words we're gonna do some cool stuff to it and this is actually just an abstract class and this right here simple string property this is the class that you use whenever you want to instantiate or in other words create new string properties that you can read and write to so again this is just that abstract class the type of object and this is for whenever you want to create something that you can actually read and write from or write to whatever and it actually takes three parameters these are easy to understand the first one is gonna be this most of the time it just refers to the object that contains it 
so this and the second one is the name in other words first name and the last one is the default value so whenever we create this it just has a default value of nothing no name or anything like that so actually if you hold down alt insert we're gonna do this the real lazy way we're gonna throw in all of our getters and setters alright hmm would you look at that alright you would think that since we had a getters and setters that we would just have a getter and a setter but it gave us three different methods so actually let me arrange this a little bit easier to understand alright so I'm actually gonna comment this for when I post it on github returns the string whoa moly don't do that alright so here's the thing you know how we can pretty much store a first name in here like Bucky just like before well this getter in this setter act as you would expect so what this one is going to do is it's going to return okay my fingers are slapping all over keyboard return I'll just say the first name uh, value ie Bucky so this is pretty much going to be your traditional getter it's going to return the value of that object like you would expect and this one of course the same set the first name value alright so we pretty much know what those do nothing new what the heck is this this is actually gonna return the object itself so not the value not Bucky it's gonna return this object and we need that whenever we you know do cool things like add a listener to it so now if we hop back over in main.java what we can do is we can start using this like we normally would just create a new person so now we have an object named Bucky and he doesn't have any name set yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that object and I'm gonna call first name property in other words Bucky's first name and I'm gonna add a listener to it now this is going to be called whenever the value of first name changes so whenever we give him a name whenever we change his name this code that we're gonna write in here is gonna be kicked off and you guys saw this syntax before if you just say something let me clean this up v old value and new value so it's gonna pass in three values this is the object this is the old value so if we're changing Bucky to Sally this is gonna be Bucky this is gonna be Sally and then we can just run a little bit of code whatever logic that we want alright so what I'm gonna actually do is just print out some stuff on the screen so you see what's going on and let me just copy this little thing right here alright so what can I print out I'll say name change to new value so this first line will say whenever we change his name it's gonna say name change to Bucky Sally whatever and for the other one I actually just print out this right here because I want to demonstrate the difference between the actual value of Bucky in the object because that's a uh, kinda confusing for some people so the first thing I'm gonna do is print out the object and it's gonna look a little bit goofy but it's Bucky first name property and by the way in your code you typically don't wanna well I wanna say for the user interface you typically don't wanna use this a lot because this is gonna print out like essentially where the object is in memory and what it looks like to Java behind the scenes so the last thing I'm gonna do is print out is get first name and Bucky get first name so whenever you actually want to get the user's name for example and display it to the user then you would call you know just your basic getters and setters so what I'm actually gonna do is this I'm gonna say whenever we click the button what I'm going to do is just submit an event and we'll just say uh, Bucky set first name equal to Porky 
All right, so one last time, what this program is going to do is it's going to set up a listener on the first name, so whenever the user changes the name, it's going to emit this event right here. Don't believe me? Oh, well, hopefully it works. All right, so I'm going to hit submit and check it out, and I'll explain. Yeah, let me switch over to here. All right. So this right here, well, we saw name change to Porky. That was just the value of it. Get first name. That's just your typical getter, like before. Returns Porky, and this first name property, this right here, is the actual property object. So it has a value of this. Again, like I said, you usually wouldn't want to show that to the user too much. But again, once we have, did my voice just crack? God, that's embarrassing. All right. But anyways, once we have properties, then we can do cool things like add listeners to them and also bind them together. And I'll show you guys how to do that in the next tutorial for now. That's the basics of it. And uh, yeah, not really useful now, but wait till you learn about binding. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you then.